I can show you something I did make, though. So we can go here. I have a lot of random things, like... Oh, this is the one I was talking about. Hold on. Okay, so here is my, like, little... Oops, sorry. Ah! So here's my guys here. And then this is what it looks like in the camera view. So this is the camera view. And then... Oh, wait. This isn't the one. What? This is the normal one. Hmm. Next thing I want to do is animate this little, uh, ship that I made. So this is one thing I'm working on now. Whoops. But I didn't render it yet. I'm far away from my keyboard, so I'm pressing the wrong buttons. So, like, it's a little, it's a little UFO Shiba. Shiba UFO, I guess I should say. So it's a little Shiba UFO. And I was working on the materials, though. Because I don't really like the materials of it, and I still don't like the materials of it. I do everything in Blender. I don't know how to use Unity. No. I don't know how to use Unity, but I've been learning Unreal Engine. But, um, yeah, so basically he just, like, he, he flies in, he twirls down into my room, and then he'll fly away. So this is the next animation I'm working on. I just have to get the textures right. Because I don't like, I don't like, um, I don't like the way he looks. Wait, hold on, I'm gonna press this button. It's probably gonna be a little hard on my computer. Yeah, it's rendering. Yeah, so this is how it'll look once it's rendered. How did I learn this stuff? So I learned like last month. No, sorry, in March. The month of March, I just... Because I wanted to learn it for so long. I've always wanted to do 3D stuff. I, like, loved it. Um, but I just... It wasn't last month. Sorry, it was a couple months ago. It was in March. Uh, it's June now. So, two months ago. But yeah, I, um... I just sat down and then every day of March, I was like, I'm gonna learn how to do this. I'm gonna learn how to do this. Da-da-da. You can rig them up to channel point redeems? Oh, <gasps> what? That's so cool. How do you do it? I'm going to Google that now. That would be so cool. So basically people can redeem channel points and then they can like spawn my little UFO Shiba behind me like that. Is that what you're telling me right now? Because that's so cool. Yeah, I'm I'm learning Unreal Engine right now. I don't know anything about Unreal Engine, but it is a real time... Um, what do you call it? Real time. Now I want to. I I want to use the word simulator, but I'm renderer. It's it does real time rendering. So Unreal Engine is really cool for real time stuff. Yeah. So I definitely want to learn um, Unreal Engine. I'm like watching tutorials on YouTube right now and learning. Um. But yeah, right now I only know how to use Blender and how to use like CAD programs for three D printing because. I had my 3D printer behind me, but my 3D printer's here right now, so... Yeah, usually I'll do 3D printing. Unless you want to do it for bits to earn bits of revenue, I'll... Ma yeah, thank you, Atora! Oh, that would be so amazing to know. I would love to do that for channel renders, because then people could just be like, UFO, and then just summon, like, UFO, or, like, summon other stuff. Corridor Digital makes amazing stuff with UE. Ooh, what? Who's there? Who's them? Who's they? Why can't I speak English? Let's see. Um, and then I will show you... So, my friend Idolina that I've been playing games with lately, I made her a thingy thing. So, sorry, I was working on the shoes in this one. I didn't finish them. But, um, so here is the 3D model I made. And this one I did myself. And I did, I think I rigged it. Let me see, does it have rigging? Does this one have the rigging? No, it was another one. And then this is how it looks uh, with the, the materials. So this is like without, this is just the modeling. And then, there we go. Who's there? <laughs> I, I know English, I swear to you. 
hold on. I think I have another one that I actually... Because I've done like six different files of this one. It's a YouTube channel? Ooh, I want to learn VFX so much. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay, I changed the jacket on this when I think I rigged this one. Because the jacket was causing me a lot of issues in the rigging process. So on this one, I changed her jacket. Oh, wait, what? Why do I have bones? There we go. And I think... Does it not have any rigging? Oh, I haven't done it yet on this one. Okay, that, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I did her... I made her do a T pose instead. Because A pose is a lot harder. At least with her big jacket, an A pose is a lot harder to... Uh, to rig. Yeah, so... She was in an A pose originally, but I switched it up a little. Let's see, what was another one? This one says, I name my files with whatever I do. So this one, this file is called T-Pose Scale Applied. So apparently I, <laughs> I put it in T-Pose and applied the scale. And then this one also doesn't have rigging. Hold on, let's go to all. And then, oh, I didn't add bones. Wait, her face looks mushed? The picture on the left of her mushed face looks really cursed though. Wait, what do you mean? Or is it the drawing I did? I'm not really good at drawing, so I tried my best. Oh, the the one I had open before? Oh, you mean the, the UV one. Yeah, it is creepy. Yeah, the texture painting. This one. Yeah, so this is... This is the... Her face. Um, her eyes. Her eyelashes. I don't know what this is. Oh, the red... This is inside of her mouth. Um, I, I think these are her ears. The inside of her ears. And then the red... I think also that's inside of her mouth. I don't remember. Yeah, it looks so creepy like that. <laughs> but that's how you have to paint it. But I, I learned a trick where... You can actually take this and then open it up in Photoshop and then paint it in Photoshop and then put it back in. And I think it makes it so much better. Let's go to modeling. Let's go to object. Shift add. Let's add some bones. Hold on, we gotta go over here. I haven't told my friend about this yet, so... Uh, I should probably not do it on stream because she watches my stream sometimes. So I'm like, I should probably not do this on stream. I've been working on it off stream or when she's on vacation so that I can finish it and then show it to her. <laughs> yeah, right? Isn't it crazy how it's like so creepy, but then like when you wrap it around, it actually looks good at the end. Yeah, here. Let me open up a different file. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Breakdancing Dio. <laughs> I like how serious he is. Oh, that's right. I didn't finish this animation because it just cuts off. Oh no, his textures are gone. What in the world? Where did his textures go? I gotta... 
Wait, what? I gotta bring back his textures. Let's see, blender. No, blender saves. No, textures. No, 3D modeling. 3D models, characters. What? He's gone? What? Alright, I guess he's gone. No wonder he doesn't have any textures. They're gone. <laughs> He's just gone. Anime girl to the high seas. Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted to three D model General Grievous. Hold on, let me let me open up the General Grievous files. Da na 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 na. Like X files. Open. Wait. Here's a bunch of stuff I... I have all of my saves here. Um... Yeah, I love General Grievous. That's what I was kind of thinking to do, is having him, like, kind of walk behind me and do cute stuff, because he's my favorite. Um, let's see here. Let's go to new. Don't save. Delete that. Um, go to camera view, and then let's import... Le Grievous. Um, yeah, he's so cool. I agree. Kalishas are so cool. Uh, where is his file? Oh, that's CD4. Um, I need the blender ones. He's so like, hold on, let me go to pose mode real quick. Grab? Wait, what is this grabbing? Huh. I think this was rigged in Unity or some other program because it's really strange. Wait, you're no longer a Star Wars fan? What happened? Whoa, where's his textures? He's not textured? Weird. Ah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Disney Star Wars either. You were obsessed with him too. Oh, I had the Lego General Grievous too. I gave it to my little brother when I moved to Korea. But yeah, I had like the... What was it? The... It was almost like... Not a Bionicle, but... Kind of like a Bionicle. Yeah. It was really cool. Yeah, I'll have to mess around with him more. Because he's not textured, and I'm going to have to, like, figure out all of his textures and put them on and stuff. But yeah, I really love Blender. It's a lot of fun. I, I do want to get into VFX. I think that would be cool. Because I have all these princess dresses. And I had plans of, like, going to places here in the UK, like castles and stuff like that. And then wearing my cute princess dresses and, like, taking just really pretty photos because I love photography. But I was also like, what if... What if I just created a cute castle inside a blender and then took video of myself in front of my green screen and then just put myself in that castle? I think that would just be cool. Just cool to do in general. 